uh, it was actually interesting to hear about the agnosticism atheism thing i i had that wrong as well i always considered myself an agnostic um but now it sounds like based on the the true definitions i, I I'm, I'm the same as you agnostic um atheist of sorts yeah. um right. so that's good to know i think more yeah so so if if the question if if i ask you do you believe in god right right and you say no but don't go forward with making the claim that there is no god Okay. Right. You, exactly. If I ask you that, you just say, no, I don't believe in God, but you also don't claim that there is no God, that would make you an agnostic atheist. Okay? That's right. That, that's but the stance if, I if, take. Yes. But if you say, I don't believe in God, but also claim that there is no God, that makes you a Gnostic atheist. Huh. Got it. R really good info. I don't, I don't think many people know that. I think um, most people... Um, think atheism is is being 100 percent sure of, of i've uh -huh. actually thought that for my whole life uh -huh. um, that atheism is 100 percent sure there is no god and agnosticism is is that you're not sure you can't be sure either way part of that um, is a religious narrative i mean especially in in the places where christianity has been really popular atheism right. has been specifically pointed out as this one and only definition and that's why there has been a lot of activism on just saying no we're just normal people who just don't believe in this just like we don't believe in unicorns you know right yeah i mean it brings up another point um but, but this isn't my but question. also one, one thing one thing else in academia uh, they use atheism and agnosticism in a different way than in common right. language. we're talking about right. common language we're, right we're, right we're, okay we're, so yeah. in academia yeah. it, it uh, what happens in academia in, in academia, academia oh, go ahead yeah, they mean when they say atheist, they're, they're referring to what we refer to as Gnostic atheists. Right. They. Okay, it is God. always the hard stance. Anytime it's atheist, it is always the hard stance. Agnostic is that middle ground. But yes. again, just like Armin and I laid out, like there is technically a nuance right. between them. You can so be both the, an agnostic and an atheist. So the academic definition is the one that that I was. Um, yes talking about that mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art